Thank you for watching this instructional video of the DDM640 series digital multimeters. Let's take a look at the features that are shared across all the meters in the series. To turn on the meter, press the on off button. To turn the meter off, press the on off button again. To measure voltage, turn the rotary switch to one of the AC or DC voltage positions. Whatever you expect the measured voltage to be will determine which position you choose. The range of each position are located around the rotary switch. Once you've set the switch to the correct position, insert the test leads into the voltage and comm jacks. Connect the leads to your circuit and the measured voltage will be shown on the display. To measure current, move the rotary switch to the appropriate AC or DC current position. Again, Determining the correct position will depend on what the expected current to be measured is. For current measurements below 200 milliamps, insert the red lead into the milliamp jack and the black lead into the comm jack. For current measurements above 200 milliamps, move the red lead to the 10 amp jack. Once you've connected the leads in series to the circuit under test, the display will show the measured current. For resistance measurement, turn the rotary switch to one of the resistance positions. The expected resistance measurement will determine which position you move the switch to. After inserting the leads into the ohms and comm jacks, connect the leads to the circuit and the measured resistance will be shown on the display. To measure diodes, move the rotary switch to the diode position. Insert the leads into the diode and comm jacks, then connect the red lead to the anode and the black lead to the cathode of the diode under test and the display will show the forward bias voltage drop. Moving to continuity measurement, move the rotary switch to the continuity position. Insert the test leads into the ohm and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. If the measured resistance is less than 50 ohms, the meter's buzzer will sound. To measure transistor gain, Move the rotary switch to the HFE position. Insert the in end of the multifunction adapter into the HFE jack and the COM end into the COM jack. Depending on which type of transistor you have, NPN or PNP, insert the legs of the transistor into the correct holes for measurement. Once the transistor is properly inserted into the adapter, the display will show the measured transistor gain. Finally, the last feature that is shared on all three meters in the series is the display hold function. Pressing the hold button in any mode will keep the current reading on the display. Pressing the button again will release the hold and return the display to normal. Let's take a look at the features that are only available on certain meters. The DDM644 and 645 are capable of measuring frequency. To measure frequency, turn the rotary switch to the hertz position. Insert the leads into the hertz and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test and the measured frequency will be shown on the display. Also shared by both the DDM644 and 645 is capacitance measurement. To measure capacitance, move the rotary switch to one of the capacitance positions. Determining the correct position will depend on what the expected capacitance to be measured is. Insert the red lead into the capacitance jack and the black lead into the comm jack. Once you've connected the leads to the circuit under test, the display will show the measured capacitance. The DDM644 is the only meter capable of measuring temperature using its included type K thermocouple. Turn the rotary switch to the temp position. Insert the in end of the multifunction adapter into the temp jack and the comm end into the comm jack. Insert the positive end of the thermocouple into the positive K hole on the adapter and the negative end into the negative K hole. Touch the tip of the thermocouple to the surface of the object under test and the display will show its surface temperature. Unique to the DDM645 is its 20,000 count display, giving you a higher level of resolution over the displays found on the other meters in the series. So, 
If a greater resolution is a must, the DDM645 is the meter for you. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the DDM640 series. For more information on this and any of our other products, visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.